this is the critical mass to Calais and the, well, my big motivation for this is just to try and facilitate as many people as possible going from England to Calais and meeting people from Sudan, Afghanistan, Syria and exchanging their stories and really learning from each other. We're just about to set off to cycle down to Dover and then cross over on the ferry to Calais and head to the migrant camps there. Um, the idea is everyone here is on a bike that they don't want anymore, that their friends don't want anymore and we're gonna cycle all the way down and then donate the bikes to uh, the camps in Calais. The camps have been like slowly pushed further and further uh, back from like local amenities, local shops, anywhere they can get food. So at the moment people have to walk um, about an hour and a half each way just to get like basic necessities, food, drink, things like that. There's IDP camps in, in Afghanistan, in Syria, in Lebanon, everywhere and it seems to be easy for people to treat them as victims. They're further away from you so people are still donating their two pounds a month to Oxfam or to save the children to everyone but the second it's on your doorstep it seems to be like oh I don't know that's a completely different situation and people are running away from it. This country is just carrying on its long tradition of racism and exploitation and oppression of people and now there's like a step up in the border with France but it has a really real impact on the growing number of people who are stuck on this border who have to face a very difficult journey and a lot of times Britain has a lot of complicity in what has happened to these people in their countries of origin. I've come to Calais to drop off aid, mainly focusing on the health and safety of people in Calais. Um, we are bringing uh, over 60 fire extinguishers and we are bringing uh, first aid. Uh, we're coming along with nurses and, and doctors um, to so we can actually um, do a bit of first aid whilst we're here. Other things that we're bringing is tents. We're going to be building a large bender tents and bringing food and, and blankets and also things for uh, women and children as well. convoy from uh, Brixton to Calais via Folkestone, a van and two cars, but we have taken a lot of stuff already towards Folkestone. Stand up to racism, organised it around Lambeth and Brixton, and we have been overwhelmed. It's come from places like Croydon College, Roehampton University, loads of individual people. I'm an ex-member of the local branch of the UCU at Lambeth College and we've donated £150 to this convoy to go over and show solidarity with the people in uh, the camps at Calais. We always need blankets, sleeping bags, tents and shoes because they go at a fast rate. Raincoats are extremely valuable. Wellingtons, strange to say, they don't want them even though they live in mud. Don't ask me for an explanation. Over 60 
thousand pounds. We prefer you to give the cash straight away now, but they'll also take a bank transfer because it saves them on the handling fees. This is a drop in the ocean that they actually need. It's also a drop in the ocean which our governments could actually give in terms of opening the borders and taking people in who need it instead of letting them drown inside the sea and lose their lives. Why not freedom? Why not freedom? Why not freedom?